Boeing is gaining huge momentum toward the successful return of the 737 MAX to service around the world. Since the FAA approved the MAX return to service in November 2020, Boeing has delivered over 85 MAX aircraft, and 21 airlines have returned their fleets to service, safely operating over 26,000 revenue flights totaling over 58,500 flight hours as of April 26. The aircraft was grounded worldwide on March 13, 2019, after two crashes, one in Indonesia and the other in Ethiopia which killed a combined total of 346 people. These back-to-back -back crashes within five months led to ban passengers from flying the MAX. Apart from the human tragedy, it was huge blow to Boeing's business since the company has thousands of 737 MAX ordered on its books. Earlier this month a new electrical problem arised for the MAX, Boeing recommended to 16 of its customers to temporarily park Boeing 737 MAX aircraft. Boeing working closely with the FAA and their customers to address electrical issues identified in certain locations in the flight deck of select 737 MAX airplanes. In its 2021 first quarter of business, Boeing 737 MAX airplanes secured orders for 100 aircraft from Southwest Airlines, 25 aircraft from United Airlines, 23 aircraft from Alaska Airlines. Boeing proposed and collaborated with pilots, engineers and safety experts to create a comprehensive proposal calling for current 737-8 and 9 pilots to complete additional training. Thoroughly review technical documentation and demonstrate their knowledge in a regulator qualified, Full Motion Flight Simulator Boeing also stated that airplanes that have been in storage must undergo a comprehensive activation process before they can be considered ready for return to service. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.